Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I had another video that I was going to be doing for today, but I decided to set that aside after I received a comment from one of you lovely followers. Um, and the reason why I decided to work on this video and this topic instead is because more and more of you are connecting with me who are just starting to warm up to the idea of how to sell online. And you may not know where to start because it's a very daunting thing to think about when there's so much information to sort of bring it down to just this core of information that, that you are going to want to pay attention to, strip everything else away. Um, so I decided that I wanted to focus on this topic. So if you are just now getting started into this arena of selling your artwork online and you have no idea where to go or what to do first, then this video is for you. So I want to read you the comment that I received and we will get started. I have about four or five points that I want to talk to you about on how to start selling online. Let's read this uh, message first. This is from Teresa and she says, do you have a video on the most basic of basic? How to actually get started online? Artist statements, biography, profile, the scary bit, and can you remember what it was like and how you did it? Mm. Yes, I remember vividly that I was scared half to death, that I did not know the first thing about marketing. I've mentioned this in videos before and that I stumbled along the way because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know that there were resources out there. I didn't even think about going to YouTube and looking for videos on YouTube, never even thought about it. Um, YouTube wasn't as big then as it is now either. So you have a leg up on me as far as that goes because there is a wealth of information here on YouTube and I appreciate you asking me that question. So this is, um, these are my tips to you on if you are just getting started and you want the basic of the basic. This is sort of the meat of the information. So number one, the first thing that I want you to consider before you think of anything else, I want you to ask yourself, grab a pen and paper, sit down, ask yourself, who am I as an artist? And what is it that I want to put out into the world? This is probably one of the most important things that you can do for yourself if you are just starting out. You have an idea of what it is that you want to sell. You already know you have a passion for something, whether that be crocheting or fine art or jewelry making or maybe, you know, whatever it is, printmaking, whatever it is that you do and you do well. What is the reason behind you doing these things? What is the drive? What, what is your passion about it? And once you can answer that question, what it is, who am I as an artist? What is it that I want to, to bring to people? What, is, what kind of a need do I want to fulfill? When you answer these questions, it will lay the groundwork for not only who your customers are going to be and who you will need to bring to you so that you can make that connection between your work and the people who want it, but it, it just is a good thing to know as a whole. It will help you along the way. So once you have that for the basis, that lays the foundation of really the rest of your art business, at least in my opinion. I didn't really think about that. I was just creating and thinking, oh, I'll just put my stuff out there and the right people will come along and that does not happen, did not happen for me. It's a lot of work. But if you can sort of hone in on what that means to you, then that will really, really help you along the way. Um, okay, so that's number one. Number two, what do you intend to sell? 
if you're a fine artist, I speak as a fine artist, so um, I'm gonna talk from my own viewpoint here. Are you going to sell only originals and one of a kinds? Are you going to sell prints of your work? Are you going to sell um, merchandise? Are you gonna put your work on coffee mugs and uh, canvas bags, um, canvas prints, um, phone cases, things like that? Uh, or are you going to take commissions, you know, from from uh, customers? So you have to decide what it is that you want to sell. That is also going to help you move forward and figure out where exactly you need to be on this journey. So figure out what it is that you want to sell. Okay, so number three, where are you going to sell? There are plenty of places uh, for you to sell your artwork. Um, just off the top of my head, there's obviously Etsy. I am on Etsy, so of course I mention Etsy first. There's Etsy, there's Redbubble. Again, speaking as a fine artist, this is mostly fine art uh, websites, um, but I'm sure that there are others out there that I am unaware of. <laughs> But uh, Etsy, Redbubble, Society6, Zazzle, um, where else? Is that it? Uh, Fine Art America, that's another one. Um, there are places, there are plenty of places who would love to host your work. Um, so you need to decide where you want to sell. And the best way to figure that out is to go to all of these places find out what their commission rates are if you're comfortable with them um, platform uh, are the websites easy to use traffic do they uh, do they have the customers that um, that frequent their sites where you will be able to be in fair competition with other people so that you can um, get your work seen and noticed and people will purchase. There are a lot of things that, that you will need to think about as far as that goes before you can move forward. So wherever you want to sell your work, that's what you need to think about next. So that is number three. Number four, where will you market your work? Um, the internet, the majority of websites that are visited on the internet um, for uh, social engagement, you are talking Facebook, you're talking Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat. There are probably hosts of others, but those are the top ones that come to my mind. So you need to decide on where you're going to market your work. How are you going to bring people to you? People that frequent these social media sites, they're on there for social engagement. So when you engage with your potential customers, you will bring them back to wherever it is that you are going to be selling, hopefully, and engage with them further there. And then hopefully they will purchase your wares. So trying to decide, I've mentioned this before, this is important to bring up again and again and again. You don't wanna be everywhere. Um, that was one of the mistakes that I made. I thought I needed to be everywhere. Um, you can't be everywhere. You have to come to terms with the fact that you are, you are in this business. If you're just starting out, chances are you're in this business alone. Um, unless you're fortunate enough to have help. But most of us, when we start out, we have no money. We, we are really just trying to buckle down and trying to keep our businesses afloat. So if you are doing this on your own, you can't be everywhere at once. You can't be on all of the social media platforms and create your work and take care of your um your shop, wherever it is going to be, and market yourself. You can't do all of that all of the time. Something will have to be sacrificed and a lot of things will ultimately um, be neglected. So I highly recommend that you figure out which ones you like to engage in the most 
and just pick two or three of those places and and just start there because if you go everywhere if you sign up for all of these social media platforms you will want you will neglect a few of them because you'll find that you just don't have time to do it or you're going to be too overwhelmed and the worst thing that you can do is set up something and then not participate in it it doesn't look good for you as a business so whatever you do choose things that are meaningful to you um, as far as social media platforms go and then participate you have to participate in them you have to constantly and by constantly i mean really on a daily basis engage 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 with your potential uh, or current customers it is extremely important to do that um, so that you can establish a, a connection a relationship with your customers so that is that's very important um, and then lastly um, I highly recommend that you purchase or create your own website um, I know that this may be really daunting and I hesitated even putting this in um, but it is important it's something that I wish I had done early on uh, because Wherever you sell your work on any of these other platforms, whether it be Etsy, whether it be Fine Art America, whether it be Redbubble, uh, wherever you sell them, you have to remember that you may have your own shop, but it is on their site. You don't own it. They own their site. You're basically just paying rent to be there. If they decide to ultimately close and you have put everything that you have into these online shops that you're relying so heavily on, then you're really kind of out of luck. It's nice to be able to have your own space that is solely yours, that people, when they hear your name and they type it in to whatever search engine they're using, that your own website comes up. It establishes you as a business owner. Um, it makes you more credible. Um, and to top everything else off, it is yours. It is a place for you to sell what you want with no restrictions. Um, you can do whatever you want there. And, and ultimately, it's great to have um, thinking ahead. You may be just starting out now and think you don't need it. But down the line, if, if you're really serious about doing this full time, you're going to want your own website. You're not going to want to rely solely on one place for you to receive income. I only make, on Etsy, I don't make my sole income on Etsy. I only make about a quarter of my income on Etsy. I have my eggs not in one basket. I have my artwork at several places which allow me to bring in my income. Now, that's just me. You may be differently. There are people who make a couple hundred thousand a year or more on Etsy. Um, that's not how I like to do my business, really. I don't like to rely on just one thing in order to bring in all of my income. So I like to have my work sort of spread out. And uh, your website is going to be a place where you maybe want to sell your just your original work. Um, or just something that they can't find, people can't find anywhere else. Anyway, so I'm already starting to get off topic there, but it is important, I think, to have your own website. If you just cannot handle doing that right now, the very least thing that I think that you should do is secure your own domain name. I think that that is highly important. Um, I mean, you're gonna wanna do that anyway, but uh, you can go to Namecheap, you can go to GoDaddy, you can go to Squarespace, and you can just type in their little search area and see if whatever website address you want, whether it's your name, the name of your company, whatever you're gonna call yourself, see if it's available, and if it is, purchase it so that when you do decide to create your own website, you will be the owner of the name that you want. So when I 
when somebody is looking for Ellen Brenneman Studio and they type it in Google, then my website will come up, ellenbrennemanstudio.com, and it will take them right there. So at the very least, do that. I think it's only like $20 a year to be able to secure your own domain name. So at the very least, please do that for yourself because, again, it will help you further down the line. Okay, guys, I think that's all I can think of at the moment. Um, Teresa, I hope that this answered your question somewhat. Um, for those of you who are more experienced and... It, if you made it through to the end of this video, then it was out of pure loyalty because I'm sure that you guys already know all of this stuff. But I would love for you to uh, share any of your knowledge, things that I did not think about, the things that I did not put in my top five list below that uh, maybe beginners need to consider. Uh, put it in the comments because you guys are so re you're really great about um, helping each other out and sharing. Uh, your information. I, that's what I really love about this community. So I appreciate you doing that. Um, and if you like this video, it would really help me out if you gave it a thumbs up because it gives me the feedback that I need to know what type of content that you would like to see more of, see less of, and it helps other people find my content as well. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So I hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.